But for all its wealth and amazing facilities, Kangbashi seems strangely deserted. The thing that makes me feel the most down Is the feeling that I'm living in a ghost town Barn door banging in oh, It's just all completely empty. They're kind of like skeletons of buildings, a, a sort of skeleton of a town. The city was designed as an advert for the new wealthy China, but its fate may be a warning that all is not quite as rosy as the government here wants us to believe. Erin Chang works for a PR company that promotes some of the city's projects. Erin, this is a really impressive city. Everything is excellent. Yes. But, it, you know, one thing I notice here is, how should I put this, there aren't that many people around. Yeah. You know, you look at it, there aren't that many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this city also has a nickname called Ghost City. Uh, it's a new city. But, you know, in China, there's a big worry, like people outside China look at China and they worry that there's this real estate boom, you know, the prices of, of property are going, really becoming very expensive. And that happened in Beijing and in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. And here in Kangbashi, prices are very high. Yeah. And there's a worry that that real estate bubble, you know, will burst, mm -hmm. you know, and it'll be over and property prices will fall. Do you think that will happen in Kangbashi? I guess it's, it, it, it already happened. It's already happened. And does that worry people locally? No, because local people, they are rich. Every family has two or three houses here. They don't have to worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's good for us because uh, we can afford a house, finally. <laughs> <laughs> but what about this ghost city thing? Do you think it'll... Mm, it needs some time, but the ghost will, will be gone. The ghost will be gone, be driven out yes. of Kangbashi. Yes. Extra. But Kangbashi was designed to house a million people, yet just a fraction of that number now live here. The speculators who built it face losing billions. This property bubble is mirrored across the country. If it bursts, China could experience an economic slump, which would have huge implications for the entire world. 